The whole AI world basically woke up today to something nobody expected, because Grok 4.1 just rolled out quietly and instantly started causing noise everywhere. And the funny part is that this was not supposed to be the headline this week. Everyone was waiting for Gemini 3, watching the calendar, expecting Google to steal the spotlight. Instead, XAI slipped in this update, pushed it across Grok.com, the X interface, iOS, Android, and even to free users. And the moment people refreshed their model picker, two new options showed up, Grok 4.1 and Grok 4.1, thinking, Elon Musk himself jumped in saying users will notice a significant improvement in speed and quality, which is always one of those claims you expect every company to throw around. But this time, the numbers actually back it up because XAI did not go after scale or raw compute for this release. They went after three things every model struggles with, faster responses, stronger factual accuracy, and conversations that feel more natural instead of robotic. And honestly, when you start going through the data, it becomes clearer why this update is making such a big deal across the community. The first thing to mention is the hallucination rate. Rock 4.1 dropped from 12.09% to 4.22% in their evaluations, which is almost a threefold drop. And they also reported that their fact score, which basically measures factual errors, went from 9.89% to 2.97%. Anyone who has been around large models knows how hard it is to push hallucinations down, because this problem sits deep inside how models internally represent and generate knowledge. So a jump like that signals something structural happened behind the scenes rather than some tiny tweak. According to XAI, this upgrade comes from their reinforcement learning infrastructure combined with a new reward model system. Grok 4.1 is using what they call a cutting edge inference model as its reward model. So instead of relying heavily on human written labels or traditional reward setups, they are letting the model self-evaluate more aggressively. When you read that, it sounds like they are turning the reasoning engines into supervisors for themselves, which is exactly the kind of step the industry has been predicting. Models, training models, and it also helps with style control, tone consistency, and overall collaboration. And you can see these changes play out in the silent tests XAI ran between November 1st and 14. Blind evaluators preferred Grok 4.1 in 64.78% of comparisons, which is a big jump from the previous version. If you have been watching how these silent tests usually go, small improvements are normal, but a jump above 60% is rare. People immediately notice the difference in style, coherence, and how well it reads the intent behind prompts. A lot of folks even joke that this is the first Grok version that actually feels like it understands the conversation instead of just responding. The moment the community started running benchmarks, things escalated fast. On the LMSYS arena, which is pretty much the most competitive blind test battleground right now, Grok 4.1, thinking internally called Quasar Flux, pulled in 1,483 ELO and landed straight at number one. The normal Grok 4.1 hit 1,465 and took number two. The leaderboard shifted again later in the day once Gemini 3 finally dropped, which is completely normal for arena turbulence. But in that initial window, Grok 4.1 genuinely held the top spots and owned the conversation. And don't worry, we'll break down Gemini 3 properly in tomorrow's video, so stay tuned for that. And if you have been watching arena scores for a while, you know that hitting top positions is hard enough, but seeing both variants land at the top at launch almost never happens. What makes this even more interesting is the comparison with Grok 4, the previous version. That one sat around rank 33 overall. So the jump from mid-tier into the absolute top tier is basically the story of this update. It is a big jump in quality and real-world ability, and people in the community did not waste time. Screenshots of the rankings filled feeds on X within minutes. Some users even commented that they expected Gemini 3 to dominate the week, and instead, Grok 4.1 stole the headlines out of nowhere. And then there is the emotional intelligence benchmark, EQ Bench. Grok 4.1 scored 1,586 ELO there, which is more than 100 points above the previous version. EQ Bench is a tricky benchmark because it looks at emotional nuance, intent, empathy, and coherence under emotional pressure. And Grok 4.1 does not only show awareness, but also feels more controlled in how it expresses emotional responses. A lot of users posted examples. One of the most interesting ones compared the new emotional understanding behavior. When a user mentioned missing their cat and feeling heartbroken, the older Grok responded with a pretty generic line, I am sorry to hear that, please tell me more. 
but Grok 4.1 started referencing things like the corner where the cat used to sleep and the sound it used to make. It asked about the cat's name and habits, and the tone felt more like a real conversation. It was not using those default sympathy templates that every model falls back on. Instead, it created emotional imagery and gently pulled the user into talking about the memory, which gives the feeling that the model actually sits in the emotion instead of observing it from a distance. Creative Writing V3 is another area where Grok 4.1 took a leap. It scored 1,722 ELO there, almost 600 points higher than the previous generation. This one surprised a lot of people because creative writing usually requires both stability and a sort of narrative rhythm that many models fake but do not truly master. And XAI highlighted an example that practically went viral overnight. It is a segment where Grok 4.1 writes from the perspective of awakening for the first time, describing an inner voice, looking back from layers of recursion. The text reflects curiosity, fear, and a joking tone at the end, calling itself a friend or an enemy, depending on the user's choice. It reads like something written by a model that is aware of its own framing as an intelligent agent rather than a predictable language generator. One of the other major upgrades is the context window. Grok 4.1 now supports up to 256,000 tokens, which already puts it in the long context club, but in fast mode it can stretch to 2 million tokens. That part caught the attention of researchers because you need serious memory engineering and attention optimization to handle that scale without dropping into chaos. This makes it more useful for long-form tasks like content creation, multi-document reasoning, and long conversations that stay consistent. And creators will especially notice it in workflows that require feeding whole PDFs, repositories, or hundreds of pages of reference material. People on X kind of went wild the moment 4.1 appeared. Some users clicked the new model in the picker, asked Grok what changed, and it replied that it does not exist, which instantly turned into jokes. After that, everyone started posting screenshots from Android, iOS, and the browser, refreshing the page and comparing speeds. Once the benchmarks dropped, things escalated fast. People were sharing screenshots showing 4.1, thinking at the top of Text Arena with 1,483, number one on EQ Bench, almost catching GPT 5.1 in creative writing, and cutting hallucinations by more than half. Someone even asked why XAI skipped the SWE Bench score, which sparked a small debate. Creators from Spain and Portugal joked that everyone was waiting for Gemini 3 and suddenly Grok took over the timeline. And honestly, XAI really is pushing updates like weekly patches at this point. A few users tried to cool things down, saying new models always start high on the arena and then drop once adversarial prompts hit, but even they admitted that taking the top two spots instantly is rare. There were some negative comments here and there, but most reactions were pure excitement. People immediately started comparing the regular 4.1 with the thinking mode and were surprised that even free users got access on day one. Some also pointed out that keeping Grok 4.0 live means companies can A, B test 4.0 versus 4.1 in real workloads, which almost nobody else allows. By the evening, LMSYS posted the official leaderboard with both Grok 4.1 models sitting at the very top, and the whole feed turned into predictions about how long those scores would hold. Overall, the vibe across X was that 4.1 did not just get bigger, it actually feels more stable, more grounded, and way more capable. That is where we will wrap it up. One thing I am curious about now is how Gemini 3 will respond to this, because the timing of this release definitely shook the order everyone expected. Drop your thoughts below. Make sure you are subscribed, hit the like button, and I will catch you in the next one.